let's talk about some of the very important questions from the field of education and higher education now the first question talks about the green buildings in aims institute now green buildings in an aims institute is a proposal which aims to make the system much more resource efficient and environmentally responsible you have the pradhan mantri swachh suraksha yojana through which we are trying to bring in more development and green buildings even the nursing department would be shifted to this and there would this is planned to be ready by 2022 it includes the design construction maintenance renovation as well as demolition process that goes on uh, so all of those are part of green building initiative the next question focuses on the latest educational development now here the idea is all the higher institutions aim to start apprenticeship program which would be an embedded degree diploma program uh, by 2021 and online portals have launched for uh, has been launched for nearly 100 institutes to provide online courses now this would be a kind of exercise where you have the first rate schooling and disadvantaged section of the society which cannot get admission to better education can be uh, made part of this and uh, the financial cost would be relatively very very less for these children so in order to maintain a uh, equitable growth for educational purpose this online education portal has come up a very very important question this time the next question focuses on insat now insat is under study in india program so study in india program aims to attract students from the regions of asia and africa to gain scholarships in india and pursue higher studies in india now you would have national police university national forensic university uh, which which would also be part of this is inset program along with your cyber forensics technology programs and uh, the remaining science and tech programs the next is tangi now again a very very important thing that was in developed uh, that was in news now this is a initiative not launched by facebook but by google news and it would invest nearly 1 million usd dollars to provide information literacy and a network in order to create authentic news to the public and removal of all fake news the name of the applicant has been inspired from teach and give so this is where you have the inspiration and it's it's more focus on uh, diy videos which is do it yourself videos the next is annual status educational report 2019 has been released by pratham which is not a government but a non profit organization so the first statement becomes incorrect read the questions very very carefully the next is report says number of girls enrolled in the government school is higher than boys that is correct and aims at strengthening the anganwadi structures of the country and here is where you have the focus on the swasthya uh, suraksha sarvekshan where we are also focusing on the wellness centers where anganwadis could play a really really major role the next is neet program now neet is a major scheme which is national education alliance for technology it was launched to customize the learning process using artificial intelligence as has been implemented by uh, aicte so both of those are correct option uh, the various edtech businesses have been identified for the same and there would be common one place where technological answers and technological solutions for educational issues could be released the next is regarding the state of education in india now the western part has higher job postings for the stem that is science technology engineering and mathematics the job related to these fields have increased by 44% in the recent years and there is where we are bringing more focus to r&d india has less than 1% nearly 2.6% of the proportion engaged in r&d whereas in the countries of japan and south korea it's as high as 2 to 3% of the gdp going for r&d so definitely you have a lot of scope to go for stem technologies and r&d sector so both of these become the correct statement the next is amma vodi scheme is a scheme released by andhra pradesh government in uh, the regions of chittur the idea is bringing all the students uh, reading in the class uh, from 1 to 12th be it a public sector or a, a private sector scheme the students below poverty line would get a consistent income or a kind of consistent fellowship along with a requirement where you have 75% of the attendance that would be made compulsory the next is india skill report 2019 uh, it is released jointly by undp 
ऑल इंडिया काउंसिल फॉर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन द कॉन्फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज एंड ए आई यू विच इज द एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस यूरोप रिपोर्ट महाराष्ट्र हैज टॉप द लिस्ट विद हाइएस्ट एम्प्लॉयबल नेक्स्ट टू महाराष्ट्र यू हैव तमिलनाडु एंड उत्तर प्रदेश विद हाइएस्ट एम्प्लॉयबल्स विद इन द सिटीज यू हैव मुंबई हैदराबाद एंड पुणे एट द टॉप रैंकिंग्स द ओवरऑल एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी इज अराउंड फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट इन द कंट्री द नेक्स्ट इज सिरस मिशन नाउ सिरस मिशन हैज बीन रिलीज बाय रशिया इट इज अ साइंटिफिक इंटरनेशनल रिसर्च इन द टेरिस्ट्री इन द यूनिक टेरिस्ट्रियल स्टेशन वॉट इट इज कॉल्ड एज सो इट इज इट स्टार्टेड बैक इन टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटीन एंड हैज बीन अ मेजर प्रोजेक्ट दैट हैज बीन वर्किंग जॉइंटली विद एक्सपेरिमेंट्स बीन परफॉर्म बाय अमेरिका एंड रशिया The next regards HDI. So in HDI, you are trying to assess poverty, education, life expectancy, and access to uh, healthcare facilities. And South Asia is the fastest growing region based on that. India's ranking has been changing. Uh, the beyond uh, beyond income, beyond averages, and beyond today, the inequalities in human development for the twenty first century has been the uh, report title that has been released recently, which is very very. very important the next is eklavya model residential schools have been part of ministry of tribal affairs not hrd and therefore they are focusing on uh, providing education to the tribal pockets and the tribal population in the country so both the statements are incorrect here the next question is regarding k12 education transformation framework now this is a project which has been released by microsoft it is a way in which educational uh, leaders in more than 50 international schools and locations would be mastering technologies to provide education based on four pillars and these four pillars would be management policy making talking about modern day technologies interna- intelligent use of technology and technological blueprint which is important for further development when it comes to national education day it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of um, uh, maulana abdul uh, uh, maulana abdul azad who was the first education minister of india and the idea is not to make india 100% literate under this project but to bring in a cognizance among the common people for awareness of education the benefits of schooling and the significance of training that a student gets through education the next is goal program very very important it is going online as leaders so a very very important program nothing to do with the goal of football so the first choice is obviously incorrect it is launched by facebook to empower women for digital literacy leadership life skill and entrepreneurship skills so again a very very important program and initiative so facebook along with ministry of tribal affairs has been working with nearly 5 thousand young uh, females for empowering them under various different categories so these were some of the major topics that we have talked about today uh, education higher education the policies under higher education where we talk about neet arpit leap uh, nishtha dhruv uh, goal those are some of the recent ones that have been released then you have certain state specific schemes that we have talked about for example largely in delhi you have amavodi in andhra pradesh as we have focused on today a lot of those have been covered in our sections on expected questions for higher education so stay tuned for the next episode have a wonderful day